Hi guys and welcome to Tax TV. Got Jacob today, Peterborough fan. Um, going to be having a talk about you know yesterday's results. Um, obviously we drew one apiece against Swan City, which points not really good, but a good win for your sons, Jacob, uh, against Blackburn. Um, what do you make of overall performance in that game, mate? Played really well, to be fair. We we got chances. Um... We look. We have some more fight under McCann, which is really good to see. Um, we. Uh, it was just a good performance. Two late goals, which is always the best, really. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I were watching it because we were watching. You know, obviously watching game and then keeping an eye on uh, Reading result. Uh, keeping an eye on your as well because uh, Reading they, they had a good win away at Sheffield United, so that's like keeping away from them. But. Um, Obviously, when we come down to your place, we're you know we're still down in that kind of area. Um, have your performances picked up any uh, with McCann? You know, is there any open belief here for Peterborough? Can you see your bit of spirit in team? A little bit more, yeah. We're in, well, we're unbeaten in three at the minute, but we in the last three games we've had 18, 17, and fifteen shots, which is a lot more shots than we had under Ferguson. So we're showing a bit more in front of goal and. Yeah, a bit more looked a bit more solid. I was surprised when McCann uh, got sacked at all because I thought he were doing a decent job there for all. And I, me personally, I thought whether he's going to come to, he's going to do a decent job because I know when he played for Barnsley many many years ago, um, he always sent that kind of player which he, uh, what can I say, he demanded demanded more. He wanted the team to play. Uh, so I was surprised when he went. Oh, I'd, I'd have took him like a shot me at Barnsley uh, when it when it got. Announced that he'd gone. So uh, when he did get sacked, obviously at all, do you think what would you have gone for McCann? Would he uh, a manager that you really wanted, or would you have got looked elsewhere for another manager after Ferguson left, Jacob? Well, McCann's probably the most suitable option since he's local around here. He lives here, and mm. I don't think he's a bad manager overall. He he, mm. you know, he won the league with Hull last season, so yeah. he just hasn't had a good championship record, but. He's showing improvements in the championships. Do you do you, do you think you'll stop up? Do you think you know you'll be going to League One, or do you think you'll just manage to stay up? Because Derby County had a decent win as well yesterday, didn't they? So, or do you think it's you know, mathematically it's still possible that you can do it, depending it, on what Reading doing it? It can be, but I think the bottom three will stay. It is. It'd be just yeah. yeah. I'm thinking that as well because some of Barnsley fans, I think, were more or less resigned to, you know, or were already down kind of thing a couple of games ago. We could see, I mean, you, you'll see it as a Peterborough fan when you're watching your team week in, week out. You can see that there's a bit of rope there. I mean, we we had a win, then you put in a lot last performance in year against uh, Millwall. We didn't turn up whatsoever. It was like, we're, we're trying to fight to stop in league, but players didn't seem to be bothered, interested. So, but I think then it will like, yeah, we're just going down to League One. It were inevitable. We're going to go to League One. Um, obviously, you know, we all hope that miracles will be done and we stop up. But like you've just said, via, I think bottom three is going to stop as it is. Uh, there's like a nine point. I'm just looking at the table now. Reading are on 40 points. And then you've got Derby County on 31, uh, Peterborough on 31, and we're on 30. So it's there's like a lot of games to make up there, and you've got to like oh, but Reading gonna lose theirs. Um going so seven three going to League One under McCann. I, I you know your chances have got to be pretty high, but you know, under McCann. Would you I'm gonna say it might be a bit too early this, but would you identify some players that need to go from Peterborough and f- fetch some other players into freshen up, do you think, if you go down? Well, we, we have got a good squad for League One, like Jace Johnson, Clark Harris, of course, got 30 mm. goals last season. Of course, we've got Jack Marriott in there, who will bag a lot, because they've both won the Golden Boot for us. I think we're fine up front. Mm. Um, midfield's looking strong. Of course, we signed George Grant earlier in, in the summer from Lincoln, but he hasn't really stepped up to it. But I think he'll be a different player in League One. Like, he'll get more on the ball. Uh, of course, we've signed um, Fuchs from Dundee United, who's been quality so far mm. for us. He went to a lot of tackles. Of course, it didn't help with Norburn's ACL injury, which has ruled him out until like December. Mm-hmm. But we, we look. I, I, I might let Mark Beavers go, the captain last year. Um, 
he's a very good league one defender, but championship, he has a bit of experience in the championship, but he's just not at that level, I'm afraid. Hmm. I'm thinking, like, such as us at Barnsley, we, we've more or less, we've got four loan players, so it's inevitable them four are going to go back. But uh, I did a, a video, I did a meeting with CEO uh, on Monday, and although I won't say what players are going to be going or coming in, it was the same that, you know, players are under review uh, for a season we've had. Four, four players, players are going back. Uh, someone asked the audience, well, was there any chance of signing any loan players on a permanent deal? It all depends on the agents and player itself. I mean, you look at players, what, what we've got, we've got Gomez from Man City, is he wants to go elsewhere. We've got Queen on loan from Watford. If Watford do go down, will he go back to Watford? Uh, we've got Bassi on loan in, over in France. So it's a lot of ifs and buts. So if, you know, them four go, we, we need to rethink our strategy. Uh, I think possibly, I think Styles could go, uh, especially because he's been recently played for Hungary. So he's an Hungarian international. I think we're going down. We're going to be losing money as well from TV gate receipts. So I think it's inevitable we're going to lose some players. But I'm thinking it might be. A bit of a kick up backside and a bit of a wake up call for players. What are you? And so, look, this is what we need to do. We need to crack on and move. And I think we also could lose his manager as well because he's uh, under review. So it's going to be a big turn up. Um, so, yeah, that's about, you know, a bit of talking front and back. Bearing in mind, like what you just said, Via, uh, we've, we've been dropped. We've drawn one, lost, drawn, lost, drawn. So inconsistent is out us. You have, like you said, you on last three unbeaten, two draws and a win, but you've got like a, a good shot ratio over here. Coming to Barnsley tomorrow, what, what do you think your chance will be against us, uh, Jacob? Well, we have improved on away under McCann, and that's only taken four games for Ferguson 17. So hmm. it's shown little, little improvements, and we look like we can actually score a goal. So it'll be a tough game. I'm I'm going to it, but It'll be a tough game. You've got some decent players, like you said, like Bassey, Cookie, mm. who was on loan um, at Fulham earlier in the season, but didn't get a chance. Um, yeah. Carlton Morris is not bad. I've, he, he could be a bit of a handful. But I'm going to back a push 2-0 win. Mm. Um, I'm, I know we don't normally keep clean sheets, but, you know, you, you're not in the best of form and I can, can see us just getting a couple. Yes, 2-0 yes, so yeah. to push. Do you think under McCann, do you, has he changed their, uh, you know, your style of play much? Has he, you know, more attacking? Has he, has he altered it much from Ferguson when he took over? Yeah, we, we seem to be a bit more attacking in Championship, of course, taking that from uh, in the League One. Um, yeah, we just, we look more resolute uh, mm. at the back and it's it's going well. And I think in League One, it will be a lot, it'll be a lot better and I can see us Challenging for promotion to the championship again. Yeah, I, I can see that. I can see uh, uh, if it's not going to be automatic because there's going to be some hard sides in there. And like I say, if, if Derby County go down as well, they're going to have a good backing. Um, for me, Barnsley, I mean, it was nice to see Woodrow come back because he's been out with a long term injury. So he came off at bench yesterday, uh, made an appearance, some up, and he's up to fitness. Bassey has been a bit inconsistent. Uh, Queener, he had a poor game yesterday, in my opinion. Very trying these flips and tricks and stuff, and, and a lot of time it was like just a simple ball that he done. Yeah, I think we could have we could have done a lot more with just a simple ball. Uh, Styles were on bench for some unknown reason. Uh, came on at second half, so we've got players there. What can hurt teams as such? But it's like inconsistently, we could probably start off good for first 10, 15 minutes. And then we just seem to have a bit of a, a quiet period, such as y'all could take advantage of that with shots on goal. And before you know where we are, we, we have been chasing the game. And it should be us own team chasing it, but we're not. Um, we found that out to his own detriment when you know we played Reading 1 0 up. And then for the second half, we just sat back, just sat back, just sat back. They got equaliser and Reading were like all over us. So, um, hmm. I'm hoping for a bounds of win. Uh, I think there's going to be goals in it, to be fair, especially now you've shot, you said your shot ratio. Um, I, I can't see him making many changes, but then again, under our manager, Poya is liable to pull a rabbit out and put start Woodrow. So 
I'm going to say 2-1 Barnsley. Um, I just think there's goals in it. And I can see, and this sounds daft, I can see if Peaceby score first and upper hand, I can see, knowing what McCann's like, because uh, all as well, I can see him taking advantage of that. Um, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's going to be a 2-1 win Barnsley. Um, will it make much difference to the league? I doubt it as much. You know, we'll probably have a take because it's like tight in bottom three. I think really now it's, I don't know what you'll think, Jacob, but I think the bottom three now, it's like a, Always going to not finish bottom at three, uh, bottom at table. I think that's all we're playing for, really. To be fair, um, yeah, I'm going to say two one. I'm going to say two one Barnsley. Um, I just hope it's a good game as well. I just hope it's a good game as well. Um, I think weather conditions and that. <sighs> then it's move on to Huddersfield game. Um, looking at your running, Ben, uh, but some of the teams we've got coming up, are you pretty confident that there's a, there's a few more wins for Peterborough. Well, and next, I, I'm confident against you lot. Mm. Forest at home will be very tough, but, mm. and that's meant to be a sellout. But yeah. if we can get behind them, we, I'm sure we can get a win. Mm. Mill away will be tough. Dif- that's a difficult place to go. And then Blackpool at home, final game of the season, which I'm, I think we can win as well. Mm. Yeah, we've got, I mean, like, like I said, we've got uh, Peterborough. Um, we've got Peterborough, Huddersfield. Huddersfield, Blackpool, you know, West Brom. So it's like, our running's like atrocious. And like I said, we need to win three, three games out of here just to bring us level with Reading. And I can't see Reading to be dropping many more points, to be fair, because they've got such as Luton. I think if they pick up another probably two points, Reading, I've, I think I've worked out that by the time we come to Huddersfield, we probably could be out on it kind of thing. Mm. Uh, with goal difference and that took into account. So, yeah, uh, people what's watching, uh, please like, subscribe and share. Do you agree with me or do you agree with Jacob? Uh, Jacob's going for a win. I'm going for a win. Uh, probably turn out to be a draw, but I'm hoping there's goals in it. Uh, for journey up for people over Easter. So, Jacob, once again, it's been great having you on because I know I interviewed you when we come down to your place and I said I'd get you back on when you're coming up to ours. So, it's, it's been great to have you on, Jacob. I appreciate it, mate. Thank you so much. Not a problem. So, everybody, have a good weekend, rest of the weekend, have a good Easter. When you go to the game, cheer on the Barnsley or cheer on the Posh. Uh, safe travels when you're coming up. Uh, one thing left to say, you Reds.